Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing very, very well. This is me, Reshma Ravindran. And today, we're going to talk about the most asked question I get on Instagram, on LinkedIn, sometimes even YouTube comments. So before we go into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it means everything to me and that is what motivates me to make more videos too. And also, you can follow me on Instagram at Reshma underscore Ravindran underscore Rants. So let's go into the topic today. So today I decided to talk about, like I said, the most asked question. Are there part-time jobs in Sanya? Will I get a part-time job in Sanya? Is Sanya a good place to come? Do you think I can go to Lambton College? Do you think I can survive in Sanya? All this comes to like one question whether Sanya actually has part-time jobs. I'm definitely not going to blame people who actually come up with this question because I was in the same position a couple months back and I know exactly how you feel. So when I started applying to colleges, I had a lot of different options in my mind. And when it came to Lambton, I was specific that I wanted a bigger campus. And that's why I chose the Sanya campus in spite of a lot of things that people told about the place. But of course, um, due to COVID, you know, Toronto or Sanya, whichever campus you chose, everyone's going to study at home. It's it's the same so yeah i know but but still i'm hoping that maybe down the line another semester could go offline fingers crossed for that so yeah going into the story so just like everyone as soon as you get uh, an offer letter the first thing you do is go ahead um uh, look for whatsapp groups that you can join i guess all of you guys who are aspiring to come here as soon as you you get an offer letter that's what you do find the college and then a whatsapp group and then join that so i was also part of a whatsapp group like that and i was part of so many whatsapp groups and i was actually part of a whatsapp group that had a subject that said no part-time jobs in sarnia so that was literally a, a the subject because a lot of people were constantly asking the same question and it was a common notion that yeah Sanya is a small place it's it's like it's not even a city so you you won't find part-time jobs so even when I you know when I thought that I'm gonna come here I mean I, I, I was like prepared for this I made up my mind like okay uh, they say that Sanya is not going to have a lot of job opportunities. So let me be prepared. So it could take five, six, seven months. Uh, let me be prepared with it. Because of course, we all know we have GIC. So I thought, okay, I, I need to manage stuff with my GIC money and all that. So I was like kind of prepared for that. Yeah, I'm going to give you, of course, a disclaimer here because this is completely my experience and what I went through in Sarnia. I don't know about different people, but of course, I'm also going to talk about people who I have met personally and what they felt also. Yeah, so I'm guessing most of you would be aware if you're coming to Sarnia, I mean, if you're coming to Canada, you would know that we have like three different intakes, fall intake, winter intake, and then summer intake. So I came to uh, Canada in the fall intake, which is September 2021. So it's been like just four, five months since I, I am here in Canada. So uh, when I came, uh, like I said, when I came to Sarnia, I was all prepared that, uh, you know, that it could be difficult to find a job because that's what everyone said. So I came here, but before that, I kind of inquired with people who came to Sarnia like couple weeks back, couple weeks before me, because I landed in the mid of September. So I just asked people who came here like towards the end of August or the first week of September. Just I just wanted to know about their opinion and take on part-time jobs. So when I reached out to a couple people, they also said they had they got jobs. Look, I was like really confused. So most of them were like they got jobs within two weeks. So so I didn't understand how did that happen. So I came to uh, Sanya and just like everyone I started applying for jobs. So the major uh, uh, sites that I applied was 
Indeed or LinkedIn, these are the two sites that I apply. Apart from that, I also, uh, you know, took printouts of the resume and went around and gave it to different retail sectors and that was there. And that's it. Apart from that, I didn't do anything else. I didn't have any referrals or anything uh, whatsoever. So this is what I did. And after I applied, within one week, I actually got a call from one of the employers telling that they want they wanted me to come for an interview. So I went in and I gave the interview. I got the job. And then again, I got another interview like that. And then another interview. So basically, I actually got three part-time jobs within a span of like two to three weeks in Sarnia. So this is what happened. Uh, I have no idea why people actually come up with this um, notion that Sarnia doesn't have jobs. But let me tell you one thing here. So I came in the month of uh, September. So it's the fall season. So fall season is quite popular here because it's the festival season as in you beginning uh, the festival as in you will be having Thanksgiving. And then we will be having Black Friday and then you will be having uh, Christmas, New Year. So everything will actually fall under this fall semester. So basically this semester is like filled with festivals that obviously there are going to be a lot of job opportunities anywhere you go across Canada. So not just in Sarnia, even if you go to any place, you will obviously find a job if you're going in the September intake. Now, this is what I personally feel. So if you're coming to Sanya in the September intake, you're definitely not going to have any problem. And I believe that it's the same for even the summer intake because again, the jobs are abundant for that. The only period I feel that there could be some trouble is that during the winter semester, um, reason being, uh, not not a lot of people actually quit their jobs in winter that's one reason and uh, like i said a lot of people would have joined different companies during the fall semester and no one really uh, quits the job and most of the time they kind of retain the same people who joined in the fall season so that is the reason why there is like a trip during the winter season but that does not like have only sarnia i mean what, I, what I'm trying to say, it's, it's like across Canada, not just in Sarnia, even if you go to Toronto, it's the same. So basically, during the winter, obviously, the job opportunities kind of dip a little bit when compared to fall or the summer seasons. So this is what happens here in Sarnia. So the main reason why people actually kind of speculate this notion that Sarnia doesn't have part-time jobs is because they kind of compare it to Toronto. Like Toronto is like a big place. It's You have Brampton, Mississauga and downtown, uh, Scarborough, so many places here in like this entire GTA. You get it? And how can you compare that with a very small place like Sarnia? Sarnia is a developing, I mean, it's a developed city. Uh, but then, of course, it does not have a lot of stores like what GT has because it's a large place. There's more population. There are, there are more stores. So obviously, the job opportunities are going to be more here because there are more number of people living here in GTA. So that is how it works. But in again, in Sarnia, it's, 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 it's obviously going to be uh, lesser because it's a small place. And that's how it works. So... If you go to Sarnia during the month of fall or summer, obviously you're, you, you're definitely going to find a job within two to three weeks of time. And that's how it really works. I, I personally did not know anyone who did not find a job during the fall semester. Who All the people who, been, who came with me during the fall semester, everyone did have a job in Sarnia. So I don't know. I don't know what people are telling. Like, I don't know why this thing comes up. Of course, there's a problem in the winter because I do know I do know some people during the winter they do find it a little difficult to find the job. There, there could be obviously different reasons, like you know, even going out and giving resume is not easy. It's it's freaking cold. So obviously, when you go out, it's it's so cold that you just cannot handle it. So obviously, giving out resumes or applying for jobs, everything goes down here, and. And this applies to entire Canada. And this is this is again, this is again, this is my my feeling 
this is my experience and this is what I'm, I I personally felt you know when I just compared it with other seasons this is what I, I, I this is completely my experience so that's what I feel so like I said you if you come during the fall and the um, summer seasons you're obviously going to find a job of course winter could be a little difficult but again that doesn't mean that winter does not have jobs at all no one's telling you that no no one's going to hire you in winter uh, what I'm trying to say is when you compare it with other seasons it could be a little lesser but that's it but again that applies to entire Canada so this is like the same right like getting a job within two to three weeks in Sarnia is, is the same even if you come to Toronto you're obviously going to find a job within two to three weeks in the fall or the summer season it's the same so there's there's nothing like there are no part-time jobs in Sanya the main reason why I thought I have to have to address this is because I was in the same position like all of you guys who keep constantly ask me like you know are there jobs in Sanya like that's like of course we all need jobs and we cannot just live off the GIC money we all want to save money and pay for the next semester so of course we all need uh, uh, jobs so this is what I felt you will definitely find a job here it's not difficult to find a job in Sarnia so I am not really sure how this you know this notion popped up I, and I think it's just because people compare it with Toronto. I hope this this like this analysis of mine is really going to help you guys. Uh, like like I said, like how did I find a job in Sarnia is like very simple. I, I went through Indeed and LinkedIn. These were the two sites that I kept constantly applying. And of course, I, I printed out my resume and went around Sarnia and like gave out resumes everywhere, like, you know, wherever I could go. So that's how it is. So but my personal opinion is comparatively winter intake could be little difficult for anyone coming uh, outside of uh, you know Canada because it's pretty cold and especially if you're coming from like you know a hot place like I come from Chennai so I don't even know what's winter <laughs> like so when I came here like I, I could not even imagine coming to Canada and the first thing I see is winter like Really, sometimes it could be really difficult for me and you, you can't really explore during winter. It's really difficult, uh, you know, for a first timer like me. So, of course, uh, coming in uh, during the fall or the summer season is what I would personally recommend. But again, that doesn't mean that you cannot come during winter. You cannot do anything. But this is just my personal recommendation and this is just like my personal opinion and uh, I think this really clears the air that Sanya does have part-time jobs. Stop spreading things like Sanya doesn't have jobs. Sanya doesn't have jobs. Sanya doesn't have jobs. I'm so tired of hearing this, guys. And if you know anyone who's talking like you know there are no part-time jobs in Sanya, you do, you know you know what you should do? Share this video, and this way you're telling you're helping them, and also you are promoting me. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Do leave a lot of comments. Yes, I did see a couple of comments in my last video. I'm so happy about it. And I'm definitely going to make uh, videos for all the questions that you ask me. And I'm trying to, you know, collate the usual questions that I get on Instagram and LinkedIn. Uh, and I'm going to be, uh, you know, trying to make videos on that. So next time I just don't have to answer the questions in share this video so i can help you guys so thank you so much keep supporting so that i can make more videos your likes your comments and your subscriptions is what really 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 drives me so continue to like show your support to me thank you so much have a great day bye